What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Viking in the Jungle. In the previous episode I showed you all about my design and when I came back to the Dominican I was super excited to get started and planting all those plants that I wanted to have on my land. There's just only one problem, it's becoming summer and that means that there will, won't be that much rain and any plant that I will be planting there would die pretty much within a week. And I realized that it's gonna be quite expensive to start ir irrigation on my land. I need a well, I need water storage, and then I need all the piping that is going on my land. And so I figured before I'm gonna invest all that money and before I'm gonna start such a huge project, let me first do an experiment. So I hope you're in for an experiment because that's what we're going to be building. Let me show you the plan. This, what you see right here, is the grassland. So my land continues here, but this is where the drop is, and this is where the forest is, and I'll just leave that for what it is for right now. So as you see here, I I'm, I'm want to build a road over here, and then I'd like to have this filled with plants. So that makes sense to have a well over here, which is higher than anything else here, so that I could use gravity to get the water all the way over the entire land. So the idea is to build a well, have a pump that pumps the water up and then distribute it along my land. It would be a good idea to first pump it into a water storage and then open a valve whenever you want your plants to be watered. My entire design is based on a kind of a wavy design. So I figured this would be too static to be using for what I want to have. So here I think I was thinking about a PVC pipe and then in that PVC pipe a nylon string that would get the water to the, um, to the plant and then I could direct that wherever I wanted it to direct. Now of course I could use a lot of math and that's what I've been trying to do but even then if you have the math but you have no clue how the water will behave in real life, then you could have all the math in the world, but you don't know what kind of tubes you want, you don't know what kind of flexibility you want. You, so to me, really the best way to learn is having an experiment, and that's exactly what I came up with. First of all, I have quite a large water bottle as a water storage, and I'll create two subsections. One subsection with just PVC piping with a stop at the end, and then the other subsection, which is basically just flexible tubing that is in a circuit. The water will flow both ways at the same time, creating a certain amount of pressure. The point is not to have everything squirting out, but have everything drip out so that it takes a while for this water storage to drain. I got all the tubing, I got PVC piping, and I got some flexible tubing and now it's basic and I got all the connections obviously and now it's just a matter of building the thing so let's get it going This in and of itself is already an experience. I started out building outside, but there's so much wind and then it started to rain. And so that makes me realize a whole lot of things that I need to take care of when I'm starting to build on the land. That stuff is thicker than I thought. Try it this way. Sweaty minutes later, I got it in, and at least um, it's very snug now. It's very, uh, I don't think water will go through there. So, uh, obviously, through the hole, but not like, you get what I'm saying. The only reason why I needed to make a hole is so that my hand could go through this and I could fit it in from the inside. 
aftermath, I should have just gotten a bucket. Uh, but anyway, it's not working. It's working now. I can fill it with water. We'll see if that works. All right, the system has been set up. See it right there behind me. I'm gonna fill this one with water and then this should all flow full with water and there are now holes in here so there should be gushing out or dripping out or whatever it's gonna do. And there I have a transparent flexible tube that should do something as well. It doesn't have holes yet but I just wanna see how like the water is gonna flow. And I know it's gonna be a lot of leaks because I've not glued anything together yet so. This is filling up right now. Obviously it's leaking, but that was expected. But look at this. Okay. Now the question is, will this fill with water or not? So, what you see right here, the water is really bursting out over there but it's barely 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 making it over here curious if i tilt this oh well yep yeah. well there we go <laughs> but as you see this works actually pretty decently i poked more holes into this one than i poked into this one to see what the difference is this one's also also further and you see that the pressure here is less than over there this one's really consistent so the idea is, if I close this one, that one will go get full with water. That stops and that should flow full with water. But it's not. This is just overflowing. But nothing's added here, so I'm wondering why. Okay, I figured out why. It's very hard to see in transparent <laughs> tubing if there's water or air. Uh, it was actually full with water and uh, apparently maybe not the higher parts but that's the entire point of gravity for irrigation so I'm going to poke some holes in this and see uh, if it still works out or not. Alright so I just drilled some holes in here. I did some on the top, some at the bottom and uh, let's go check it out. As you can see this is actually dripping quite consistently. Here's another one. And the entire point why I wanted to um, experiment with this is because I would have never expected that this actually, like the small tiny holes in this um, flex flexible cord, I actually thought it wouldn't work. Um, but it does and it's actually, if you make those very tiny holes, it will automatically, first it spurt it out, but um, then if you give it some time, it, almost the plastic almost closed itself again, uh, allowing very little uh, water to come through. But also because it's at the end, I guess, uh, there's not too much pressure on it. In fact, I can actually see the most of it leaking over there. Um, so probably plant some plants underneath my Tanako. This tubing, the PVC tubing, it's, it's very good for transporting water but it's not flexible at all, obviously, um, which makes the hinge points very vulnerable. And so it's, it's hard to be moving around, right? So I am going to be thinking about some ways that I could use more sturdy um, uh, piping than this, tubing than this, because this, is, this works, but it's super flexible. And I also think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna break decently fast so I think the main way that I'm going to be using PVC is by the main transportation to get the water with the least amount of friction from point A to point B and then the distribution is going to be mostly um, these drip irrigation uh, flexible tubing so uh, yeah all in all I'm super happy with this experiment so thanks very much for watching Viking in the jungle and I hope to see you in the next one <laughs>